The most common question I get asked is, Roby, when are things going to get better when it comes to GPUs? Well, I'm here to share today what I do know. And honestly, you're probably not gonna like it. Sigh, let's get to it. The funny thing about us tech tubers is that we love to give updates on GPUs. I mean, let's be frank, a lot of tech tubers are posting updates on a pretty regular basis. That's why outside of answering questions on live streams about this very subject, I've pretty much avoided putting videos up on my channel. However, in the past few weeks and few days, I've seen a number of posts and responses to my tweets and other things that are either people not really knowing what the heck's going on or saying that things are getting better. And they're just overall odd responses to actual deals on GPUs. Yes, guys, those are the new MSRP prices. And I knew it was now time for me to actually do one of these updates on my own. So here it is. Here is when GPU prices are gonna get better. Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea when it's gonna get better. And frankly, you might as well be using a Ouija board because there is so much random going on in the world right now, it's pretty much impossible to predict. Here's what we do know. It's not any time soon. And more than likely, prices are going to get worse. Yay, Roby, thanks for all the happy joy joy news. Okay, okay, let me explain. So about three or four months ago, we started to see a positive trend on GPU prices, both on the used market and the market in regards to 3000 series GPUs. Yes, I know about Radeon, we'll talk about that a little later on. This odd change in direction, as some of us knew, but others may not have noticed or were even aware of, was due to the large cryptocurrency legislation that was happening in China which got put on pause, AKA China made it illegal. Now, unfortunately it didn't really stop the large crypto farms that were happening in China. Spoiler alert, they just moved. These were responsible for a ton of the GPU purchases that were helping the inflation of card prices along with the same mining operations that were happening worldwide. Now, while those mining organizations were responding to the changes in China, AKA moving to countries where they could mine again, there was a drop off in purchasing those cards from these organizations and the whole universe seemed to read it as, hey, things are getting better. See, they weren't really getting better. They were just taking a break. Like so many of my girlfriends told me we need to do quite a lot. Fast forward to today. While there does seem to be more 3000 series cards in stock that you can buy at ridiculously high prices from third party sellers on Newegg and Amazon, it does seems like prices also on the cards have started to return to those more crappy overinflated prices from before. Crypto is back in full swing. The whole LHR thing from Nvidia kind of got hacked already and now everyone is all competing for the same cards again. So I talked to a lot of card manufacturers and here's the thing. They are making a lot of cards and selling more cards than they have ever sold before. It's just so many people want them because honestly, it's a product worth buying. They were at a cost that was reasonable at the time and frankly, what they were capable of from the previous generation was a profound leap because Nvidia and in a lesser sense, AMD did such a great job making such a quality product, demand has skyrocketed, like more than it has ever been in the history of GPUs. And that plus crypto putting an incredible demand on the supply chain is kind of a problem. Okay, so a lot of people want the cards and they're making a ton of cards, just make more Roby. Well, that's an issue, they can't. See, everyone gets their chips and all the components to make the cards from a limited number of places on earth. And see, the problem is it's not just GPUs and CPUs that get the parts from these places. It's also from cars, boats, motorhomes, and so many other things that also have to get parts from these same places. Unfortunately, GPUs aren't quite as important as the Real Housewives getting their minivans for Real Housewives of Sheboygan, and so the prioritization plus all the other crap, like droughts, COVID, all puts a real bottleneck on making these parts for GPUs we all so desperately want. What they really need is more facilities to make these chips, and they are starting them. And unfortunately, unlike a Robitech live stream where we build a PC in three hours, if we were gonna live stream building one of these new facilities, it would be like years. Now, that's a subathon idea if I've ever heard one. I mean, you would watch the whole thing from end to end, right? Right? What? So a lot of people want chips and supply sucks. That's nothing new, Roby. You said it could likely get worse. Oh yeah, well, welcome to the new wrinkle in the sheets worldwide shipping. See, moving right along with the rest of the 2020s and this little human malware issue has been a bunch of little things that have now stacked up into one giant thing. First, that whole Suez Canal blockage was kind of what kicked this whole thing off. 
And the second part has been China's rather extreme measures in stopping the pandemic, like completely shutting down the world's largest ports for like days or weeks at a time to stop small outbreaks, and you know, pretty much bringing worldwide shipping to its knees. In doing so, the cost of shipping products has skyrocketed eight or even 10 times what they used to be. And unfortunately, the margins that companies need still need to be kept. So you guessed it, the product prices for these companies go up and they need to continue to make their money. Oh, and hey, this isn't getting better anytime soon. And if you're watching this from one of those bajillion ships currently parked off the coast of LA right now, drop us a note in the comment section. We're trying to keep you entertained. Thanks to demand shortages, tariffs, which you can check out a video on that already right here. And finally, supply, this GPU shortage and frankly shortages for things like Alder Lake 6000 series, potentially the new Intel Arc GPUs, or anything else that's new on the horizon isn't gonna be changing anytime soon. But Roby, Lisa, who's the head of AMD, said that the chip shortage could end by 2022. Too. Sure, that may be true, but this isn't just about chip shortages. Remember, that's one of the four issues happening here. Even if we get a surplus of chips, the world may still be charging an arm and a leg to ship them. Or hell, just parking them in a boat and tailgating out in your local shipping port while they wait weeks or months to offload the product. Truth is, no one knows. And so much is going on in the world right now, and things are changing so much that it's making it pretty much impossible to predict. Okay, one more diatribe, and I promise we'll be done. First, I hate Newegg's bundling. It's annoying. I know they sponsor my show, but I don't like it and I have complained. However, don't blame Newegg for the prices of the GPUs, independently of the bundles. They don't set those, the manufacturers do. So that $2,000 3080 Ti, that's not Newegg's price, it's Asus, MSI, Zotac, etc. Blame them for the bundles, but don't blame them for the prices. So I might as well close out this video with walking you guys through the order of basically how do we get them for the cheapest slash best all the way to what is essentially the worst. Number one, Best Buy in-store drops or getting Founders Edition 3000 series card. Yep, like unicorns, they do exist. Unicorns exist. Don't fight me on this. The thing is, they're the only things that are at that price that we originally heard way back in the day. And the only place to get them is Best Buy, which means you're standing in long lines, potentially in the rain, the snow, all of those things just to make sure that you can get one of those Unicorn Founders Edition GPUs. Number two, the EVGA Q. Let me be honest, the lines are long, like really long. And it's gonna take a long time, especially if you're waiting for a 3080 but they have the most reasonable prices of all the board partners. So kudos to EVGA, they've been doing a good job of protecting those prices, but even they've been impacted by those shipping charges. And you can see that now in their current prices. Number three, Micro Center in-store lotteries. You are buying a card, nothing else, no bundles here, but you need to live near one of these mythical places and stand in line in the morning, like every morning, early, just for a chance to be able to buy one. But again, no bundles, so it's better than some of the other options we'll talk about later. Number four, Best Buy online drops. I'll be honest, these have been getting better, but no idea when they're happening, so you know what, you can't really plan around them, which kind of sucks. They just kind of happen, and when they do, hey, if you're not there within the first you know, two minutes, you're probably SOL. Number five, New Egg Shuffle. Like the tides of the ocean, these are predictable. They happen all the time, and you can get on them on almost a daily basis. But on top of the GPUs, you may also end up buying a Flovi. No, seriously, they may bundle a Flovi with your GPU. Oh, Newegg. And then finally, number six, Amazon. Yeah, you could get one from Amazon. Good luck. Now, Roby, this is all about NVIDIA GPUs, but what about Radeon? I know some of you are watching and asking that question. So here's the short of it. One, they are impacted by the tariffs and supply, but demand and in conjunction chip shortages aren't really impacting the Radeon market. I mean, you can basically go to Micro Center, order one off Amazon or Newegg, and pretty much get a Radeon GPU now. No issue. But yeah, those first two issues, tariffs and supply chain, have put the cost of these cards way up. Like, way up. Like, it doesn't make sense how high they are, but there you go. So wrapping it up, it sucks, and it's not getting better anytime soon. You have some options to get a card, and when it's better, you'll know. Until then, the answer is, it's over when it's over. So what do you think about this whole thing? Is there something that I was missing when I covered all this stuff in the video? Is there some other new additional thing that I may have missed that might be worth covering? Do you agree or not agree on something I said? They're hanging out on a boat on the coast of LA. Love to know that too. Let us know all of that down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification 
each and every time we go live or post a new video right here on Robitech. Outside of that, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your GPU hunt, and may the odds forever be in your favor. See you on the next video.